Hello friends, now we see the problem number 8 which is also based on point of locus of chapter locus. The problem number 8 is P in bracket minus 3 comma 6 is a given point and Q is a point on the locus 9x square minus 16y square equal to 144. Then find the equation of locus of midpoint of PQ. So for that purpose, now let's see the solution. First of all, we draw the segment PQ where P having coordinate minus 3 comma 6 and Q is a point which lies on the locus 9x square minus 16y square equal to 144. Therefore, the coordinates of Q here we consider as a H comma K and R is a midpoint of segment PQ and here we have to find the equation of locus of R. So we start from R. So let R in bracket x1 y1 be a point lies on required locus. Given P equivalent to minus three comma six and Q equivalent to HK since Q lies on the locus nine X square minus 16 y square equal to 144 let us this denote as a equation number one therefore Q satisfy the equation 1. Therefore, we substitute x equal to h and y equal to k in equation 1. we get nine x square minus sixteen k square is equal to one forty four. Let us this denote as a equation number two. Now R in bracket x one y word is midpoint of segment PQ. Therefore, by midpoint formula, we have x is equal to x1 plus x2 upon 2. and y is equal to y1 plus y2 upon 2.
So in present case, the coordinate of P that is minus 3 comma 6, we consider as a x1, y1. The coordinate of Q that is hk, we consider as a x2, y2. And the coordinate of R that is x1, y1, we consider as a x, y. So therefore, x1 is equal to minus 3 plus h upon 2. Similarly here, y1 is equal to 6 plus k upon 2. So 2x1 plus 3 is equal to h and 2y1 minus 6 is equal to k. So in this way, we get the value of h and k. Now substituting h is equal to 2x1 plus 3 and k equal to 2y1 minus 6 in equation 2 we get The equation 2 is 9x square minus 16k square is equal to 144. Therefore, 9 in bracket 2x1 plus 3 the whole square minus 16 in bracket 2y1 minus 6 the whole square is equal to 144. Now we write 9 as it is and in bracket. Now 2x1 plus 3 the whole square gives us 4x1 square plus 2 into 3 6, 6 into 2 12 x1 plus square of 3 is 9 and then bracket complete. Minus 16 we write as it is. Now 2y1 minus 6 the whole square gives us 4y1 square minus 2 into 6 12 into 2 that 24y1 plus 6 square gives us 36 and that equal to 144. So on further simplifying 9 into 4 gives us 36 x1 square 9 into 12 that is 108 x1 plus 9 into 9 81 now minus 16 into 4 y1 square gives us minus 64 y1 square minus minus plus now 16 multiply by 24 so 16 for the 64 carry 6 and 16 to the 32 plus 6 we get 38 so 384 y1 then minus plus minus now 16 into 36 so 16 6 the 96 so we write 6 and carry 9 then 16 into 3 gives us 48 48 plus 9 so we get 57 so total number is minus 576 and that equal to 144 now rearranging the term we can write 36 
x1 square minus 64y1 square then plus 108x1 plus 384y1 now all number we take on right hand side so we get 144 plus 576 and then minus 81 so the next step is 36x1 square minus 64y1 square plus 108x1 plus 384y1 and that equal to so this gives us 144 as it is so is equal to 144 now 576 minus 81 gives us 6 minus 1 5 17 minus 8 9 and 5 minus 1 4 so we get plus 495 so therefore 36 x1 square minus 64 y1 square plus 108 x1 plus 384 y1 is equal to now 144 plus 495 so 5 plus 4 gives us 9 9 plus 4 13 and 4 plus 1 5 and carry 1 6 so total number is 639 and therefore the equation of locus of r in bracket x1 y1 is thirty six x square minus sixty four y square plus one zero eight x plus three eighty four y minus six thirty nine is equal to zero. So this is a required solution for the given problem. Thank you.